all signs that are current fillings. As always, timestamps will be provided, beginning with Aries. One, two, three, let's go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. The Empress. The Star. The King of Swords. Seven of Cups, someone definitely has you on a damn pedestal. Four of Cups. Three of Cups. Okay, I see a lot of projection. I see a lot of fantasy. This is someone you may have friend zoned someone that you may have only really talked to on social media. You probably have a pretty vivid, visible social media presence. You could have an insane Instagram, a platform, maybe you have a YouTube channel, you get a lot of attention. Um, you have this natural radiance, this natural beauty, maybe you have Libra rising. But you're getting a lot of attention and this person has you on a pedestal and they are daydreaming about you, they're thinking about you constantly and there's some, there's some kind of dissatisfaction here. I don't know if you're unavailable. I don't know what the problem is, but the Four of Cups, uh, there's some dissatisfaction here. A possible astral combo for this person, they could have Sun and Aquarius, Cancer, Rising, Moon and Cancer, that's just one possibility. Please clarify the star over Four of Cups, one card. The Moon. They are dreaming of you. They are fantasizing. Um, they're in their feelings. So either they're in love with you or I would say they're infatuated. Okay, this is my newest deck. Not my newest deck, but one of my newer decks. I just received it in the post. Um, one of my decks at makeplaincards.com. This ring is too big for that thing, for that finger. Palabra is Spanish for words. Three more cards for Aries. Their person's current fillings and three cards. Similar to my intuitive stab tarot deck, all that makes this a tarot deck is at 78 cards, but it's all totally up to the interpretation and intuition. I just had fun making these at Canva. It's my art. A lot of collages, mostly collages. Three more cards for Aries. They're listening to songs, thinking of you. You have this glamour, this obvious glamour. It's very appealing. They feel like you're the total fucking package. You're the jackpot. Is that a three? Hmm. Three is Jupiter Sagittarius. Maybe you have a Jupiter that makes a lot of aspects. You could have some Sagittarius in your chart. But this person is very into you. The song that I'm hearing is Caught Up in You by 38 Special. That's what I have for Aries. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Hello Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, 
your person, their current billings for you in six cards. Nine of Cups, that's a damn decent start. Queen of Cups, the Hierophant, there you are, that is a Taurus card. Damn, Ten of Coins, they see you as marriage material, they see you as the ideal, the ideal wife, the ideal husband. Oh my god, you're killing me, Two of Cups. It's safe to say this person is in love with you. They envision a future with you. The devil. They're very into you sexually, but it goes far beyond that, obviously, with Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. I would say they're in love with you. Um, possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Capricorn Cancer rising. Moon and Cancer, that's just one possibility. Just got this in the post, my deck. Palabras, it's available at makeplaincards.com. Please sum up in three cards. Taurus's person of interest, their current feelings. I just I have to show everything because I worked so hard with the wig and the makeup and picking the correct shirt and the correct bra and the correct jewelry. I have to show it all off. Trace Moss for Taurus. Hmm. I made a little joke. This card came out for my latest pick a card at Siren Tarot. How does he really see you? I made a where's Wado joke. Where's Wado? I don't know, but your mom knows. <laughs> okay, so um, they see you as a centerfold. They see you as a model. They see you as the ideal. You're the whole fucking package. They want to have a baby or babies with you. They see you as someone who is classy and elegant. This is not how do they see you. I have to switch brain gears going from Siren Tarot to Extra Basic, but it's safe to say this person's in love with you. With the usual caveat, I'm reading for a global audience. It's not a personal reading. It's your story or it isn't. Um, but they want to share meals with you. They want to create meals with you. They want to create a whole world with you. Going by these cards. That's what I see for Taurus. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Okay, Paso, Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, Mars, Mercury. Their current feelings. This is messy. I've got... This ring is too big for this finger. I've got powder all over. This is where I do everything. You know, I, I do the card readings. Well, when I'm on the webcam, this is where I do the card readings for the webcam, for the client readings. I do my makeup here. I do my writing here, whatever I put on Canva. Okay, shut up and tell me how he feels about me, bitch. Their current fillings and six cards, Gemini. We're talking about Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Uno Mas, Bueno, Justice, La Justicia, The Star, La Estrella, King of Swords, Ray to Espadas. That's interesting. This top row is all air, Libra, Aquarius, and King of Swords. Some would say the King of Swords is Libra. I've heard another reader say that the kings are all cardinal, the queens are all fixed. That's interesting. I don't necessarily agree with that, but it's, it's interesting. So 
Nine of Cups, maybe the Copas in the first damn row. It's really strong. The Tower, Lethore. Ten of Staffs, Dias de Bastos. They see you as someone, and again, I said this for Taurus, I have to switch brain gears because I just did a pick a card for Siren Taylor a couple of hours ago. How does he really see you? This is not how does he see you. This is their current feelings. But I would say your person of interest sees you as someone who is extremely hardworking and ambitious. You have this very aggro masculine energy regardless of your gender because except for the nine of cups this is all masculine energy maybe you have i was going to say maybe you have some air in your chart well i'm assuming if you're watching this you have something in gemini but i don't know um i would say they are currently in love with you and they want to create a life with you but there's some damn Obstruction. There's something in the way. This could be third party, multiple party. Maybe you're on different continents. Uh, but that's really strong to have justice over nine of cups in the first row. I'd say they're in love with you. There's a lot of drama here. There's a lot of heat. There's a lot of intensity. Was it the monthly Gemini reading I did for September? where I just felt breathless. I, I felt this anxiety come on as I looked at the cards. This energy is just so amped up. It's like drinking a six pack of Red Bulls. I've never had a Red Bull before. Do they come in six packs? I don't know. Just a flood of endorphins, a flood of caffeine, this rush. It's really aggro energy. Maybe it's because Mars is currently in Gemini. I don't know. And it's bumping up against my moon in Virgo and it is not comfortable. So this is a deck I received in the post today. I'm very proud of this deck. It's called Palabras. It's available at makeplaincards.com. All that makes it a tarot deck is it's 78 cards. It's like my intuitive stab tarot where it's just my art, my collages that I created at Canva, um, totally up to interpretation and intuition. So you couldn't use a book for these cards. Um, when I make my decks at Canva, I don't include books. I think the books are bullshit a lot of the time. So, three more cards for Gemini. Trace Moss. Their person's current feelings. I was so pissed because I went to get my groceries on uh, Amazon Fresh last night. I wasn't really pissed. I wasn't angry, but I was disappointed. They didn't have the cheese at snack mix, my favorite. I take this uh, product very seriously. For a long time, it was cheese its party mix. Maybe some Karen or some, I don't know. Uh, self-righteous mom sent Cheez-Its a letter and said it shouldn't be called party mix. That's a negative association. Change it to snack mix. I sent Cheez-Its a letter in 2005, 2006. I said, I love your product, but I wish that you would include more of the balls and the little toast and less of the check squares. And pretzels, more balls, more toast. This person has fun with you. The sex is amazing. And they want to protect you. They want to take care of you. You bring out their masculine qualities. Although you present as a very masculine, aggressive, ambitious, confident person, they see this vulnerability in you. They see this feminine um, sweetness, tenderness, softness, and they want to just wrap their arms around you and protect you from the harsh realities of the world. Oh, maybe you're an artist. 
maybe you're hyper creative, but whatever you're doing, whatever you're putting out there, they have a fuck ton of admiration for you. I would say this person adores you. It's safe to say, going by these cards, they fucking adore you. That's what I see for Gemini. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. K-Paso, Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. What are their current feelings? I'm going to do a good, hard shuffle, a kind of energetic cleanse. Cancer. ring is too big for this finger. I have to take it off. Okay. Six of coins. Sace the Oros. Nine of staffs. Nine of wands. Nine of the bastos. The emperor. Big king daddy. Had this very erotic dream of Tommy Lee this afternoon. It was so vivid I wrote it down in a journal. Queen of Cups. Raina Copas, there you are. Tommy Lee is a Libra. I forget where his moon is. But his son's a Libra. The Hanged Man, El Cogado, Pisces. Six of Swords, Six the Espada, Six is Venus, which rolls Taurus and Libra. Okay. This is the first spread that I've done so far. I started with Aries, where I'm going to have to clarify each row. I don't know. It's, it's mixed because it begins and ends with a six. Six of coins, six of swords, and again, six is Venus. And you are in the first row. Um, whenever I'm doing... A reading for a client and this is how I do the client readings I do them on the webcam I do six card spreads six cards from one deck six cards per question because my objective is to provide my um, clients with as much clarity no bullshit as much clarity as possible so six cards um, when I'm at, when they're asking about someone's current feelings in a private reading and I see a signifier that clearly signifies the client in the first row, I would say, well, they have feelings for you. It's, it's pretty strong. That's what I expect to see in the first row is either a signifier that clearly signifies the client. So something that's from your astral combo, your sun, moon, rising, okay? You have something in Cancer, I guess. You're watching this, so um, there's your Cancer energy. Or I expect to see a good cup card in the first row, ideally. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Six of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. But there are some problems here. Let's clarify. Please clarify Six of Coins over Queen of Cups, one card. Knight of Coins. They're being resistant. They are not being emotionally available. Please clarify Nine of Staffs over the Hanged Man, one card. The Moon. They aren't sure how they feel about you, so I would say this could be something casual. It could be friends with benefits. It could be a situationship. They don't really have clarity. They're not sure 
what they want from you, what their expectations are, they're taking a very casual, ambivalent approach, according to these cards. Please clarify the Emperor over Six of Swords, one card. Temperance. They're taking it day by day. They're not in some big-ass rush to define this association. They're not trying to nail anything down. They're not trying to marry you tomorrow. Um, they're very laid back. Their energy is very laid back. So I would say they're into you. They're interested. There is a strong sexual attraction. Um, but if this resonates at all, I would not recommend initiating communication with this person. I would not recommend making them the focus of your life. I mean, that's never a good idea. Uh, they could have a lot of fire in their natal chart. They could have sun and Aries, Sagittarius rising, moon and Sagittarius. That's one possibility of many. Uh, that's what I see for Cancer. Three more cards for Cancer. Their person's current fillings. Three cards. They definitely enjoy the sex. There's no doubt about that. The sex is good. They like having fun with you. This is very erotic, but they're not in a rush to define this or to commit. That's what I see for Cancer. Hope that helps, entertains, elucidates, educates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Que paso, Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Your person's current feelings. Good hard shuffle. Uno mas. Ten of coins. Diez de oros. The chariot el carro. Seven of coins, set of the oros. The moon, la luna. Two of coins, those the oros. Ace of cups, as the copas. Looks like they want to marry you. Looks like. This is a relationship. There's nothing vague about this. There's nothing half-assed. I'm not seeing ambivalence. I'm not seeing anything casual. You have things in common. You have shared values, goals, interests. I'm seeing mutuality. I'm seeing reciprocity. I say it all the time. I say it here, I say it at Siren Tarot, Patreon, and client readings. Strip away all the cute labels that are overused. Soulmates, high-level soulmates, divine counterparts, twin flames, karmics, whatever. All that true love truly is, it's a mutual exchange of energy. It's not one person doing all the work, it's not one person doing all the feeling. I see mutuality and reciprocity here. Um, you're either engaged or that's on the horizon. You're headed toward an engagement. They probably have a lot of earth in their chart. The earth dominates. Actually, this is all earth and water. So we have three water cards, the chariot, cancer, the moon, Pisces, the ace of cups, and then we have uh, three earth cards, pentacles, ten of coins, Two of coins, seven of coins. So a possible astral combo for this person. They could have 
Sun and Taurus, Cancer Rising, Moon and Pisces. That's one possibility of many. Three more cards for Leo, Trace Moss, the person's current feelings. It didn't flip out, but it's just sticking out. So, oh, it's Pac Man. Yeah, I had fun making this deck using Canva. It's like my intuitive stab tarot deck. All that makes it a tarot deck is it's 78 cards. There's no major arcana, there's no minor arcana. It's totally up to the interpretation, intuition. I just had fun with it. No rigid definitions, categories, labels. That's a why, and those are $100 bills. They want to build an empire with you. They want to have a child or children with you. They want to live off the grid with you. So we have YA. As a writer, right away I see YA and I think young adult. It's a genre. I was Googling Taffy Sinclair last night. I don't know why. I don't know what made me think of Taffy Sinclair. When I was a kid, there was this YA book called The Against Taffy Sinclair Club about these girls in fifth grade that hate this girl. They're very envious of this girl named Taffy Sinclair. She has tits and they don't. I need to get that book. I've made it kind of a go these past few years to get all the books from my childhood and share them with my son. He probably wouldn't like the Taffy Sinclair book, but I, I shared A Wrinkle in Time with him years ago, um, The Bridge to Terabithia, Anyway, maybe you're a writer, maybe this person is, um, or they just like the idea of um, collaborating with you, creating an empire, creating a life with you. But that's really strong, that's really solid for Leo, that's what I have, I hope it helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching, peace out. Hey, Paso, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Good. Current fillings. I can hear my Leo X in the kitchen. He's doing um, a video for his room channel, Roomcast. We've been saying for about the past two months, we're going to start a podcast together talking about the runes, astrology, divination in general, uh, tarot current events, politics maybe, our unusual dynamic. A lot of people, they can't wrap their brains around that. Oh, you divorced, but you still live together? Yeah, we've been in a platonic partnership since the divorce. Our divorce was not acrimonious, but we've been sharing a home for the past five years in this dynamic. This platonic partnership works for us. We both prioritize our son's well-being and happiness. Uh, we have a conjunction in Virgo. His Venus in Virgo, I believe, his Venus in Virgo is conjunct my moon. That's a very favorable aspect to have in Sinistry. Venus conjunct moon. Six cards for Virgo. Uno mas. Bueno. Three of coins. Tres de oros. Three is Jupiter, Sagittarius. Ten of staffs, ten of wands. The is the Bastos, ten is one, Leo the Sun. Page of Cups, so the the Copas. Judgment. El Juicio, the world, El Mundo. It's so funny because my energy is coming out in these cards. And you should know that if you don't know that already. To me, it's it's just kind of common sense. But um, any tarot reading, the tarot reader is going to bring their energy into the cards. So... I mean, I'm reading for a, a global audience. The only energy I'm aware of is is my energy. Uh, 
and I'm interpreting the cards in front of me. People get it twisted sometimes. They, they get confused. Okay, Six of Cups, Seis of Copas. And at this channel, and at Siren Tarot, there is a heavy, emphasized, emphatic emphasis, an emphasized, emphatic emphasis on entertainment purposes. So I say it in client readings, don't set the clock, don't live your life according to tarot. Uh, I'm not superstitious or fatalistic when it comes to tarot. I've received terrible, way off the mark tarot readings from readers who have bigger channels than I do. So it's fun for me. I do believe it hits the mark sometimes. But you got to take it with a grain of salt, regardless if it's on a pick a card, a zodiac reading, or a personal reading. Grain of salt, entertainment purposes. I need a deep tissue massage. Going by these cards, um, I would say, God, that's gross. Um, that this person feels very good about your relationship. And I am seeing a relationship. This does not look like a hit and quit it or a celebrity crush or something vague and nebulous, something at Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I'm seeing a real relationship. Two people who communicate on a consistent basis. You're both prioritizing the connection and you're both working towards something, you know. Uh, it's a collaborative effort. You're not just wishing on stars or wishing on 11 11. This is, this is based in reality, okay. Maybe you're planning on having a child together. They could see you as a soulmate. They feel this very strong connection with you. Um, this person could have, I call out astro combos for fun. This person could have Sun and Sagittarius. Taurus rising. Moon and Scorpio, that's one possibility of many. But I would say it's solid, you're in a relationship, so they have feelings. Maybe you're just watching this for fun or boredom or some kind of confirmation, I don't know. <clears throat> Three more cards for Virgo. The person's sorry, my words. Three more cards for Virgo. Their person's current feelings and three cards. Yes. And that's a crescent moon with the Mercury cliff on it, and Mercury does rule. Virgo. Mercury is my chart lord because I have Virgo rising and I have a Virgo moon. My energy is coming out. Uh, this is a collage. It's an excerpt from a book. 33. Gracious one, play the universe. An empty shell or in your mind. Da 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 da. Infinitely frolics. Infinitely, I don't know, it's cut off. 34. Look upon a bow without seeing the sides of the material in a few moments become aware 35 abide in some place endlessly what's a spiritual book it's a book on zen i think zen buddhism prepping preparing you know there are all these channels on homesteading preparing having things having resources stocked away for the upcoming apocalypse or food shortage or whatever so we have these shelves in the garage and we have some food we have some stocked some food stocked up no preserves i'm not that ambitious i'm not that good with pinterest and etsy and i'm not a homesteader i would like to be i would like to have a garden and do preserves and all that but um i'm lazy so 
I can see the two of you homesteading together, living off the grid together. What is that? Oh, <clears throat> that's a cigarette. Looks like a vodka gimlet, but I think it's supposed to be a lemonade. It's as satisfying as watching marble coating on a cake. I can see you building a house together. Um, it's as satisfying as watching marble coating on a cake. And that's food. So yeah, you're creating a life together. You're sharing a home. You're sharing resources. That's what I see for Virgo. I hope that helps, entertains, elucidates, educates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Hello, Libra. I've got wig hair all over the place, and I look. It looks like. It looks like my eyeliner is smudged. Let me fix this. I should have my compact at hand. Oh, it's exhausting. All this work. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm going around in a gown and slippers, my hair in a bonnet, no makeup. It's a lot of work. <clears throat> That's why the last two cycles for the weekly readings and the monthly readings, I just did audio because this is a lot of work. But I enjoy it. I wouldn't do it otherwise. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, your person's current feelings. Dos Mas. Uno. Dos. I always think of Wooly Bully. That song from the 60s. Is so it the 60s or the 50s? I think it's the 60s. Wooly Bully. They start the song counting off in Spanish. Okay. Ten of staffs, ten of wands, this, they boss those. Judgment, El Juicio. King of Cups, Ray of Copas. Nine of staffs, nine of wands, maybe they boss those. So the dew is off the melon. Two of swords. Dos de espadas. You're probably in a relationship you are probably married or engaged, Six of Swords, Seis de Espadas. But if you are engaged, um, you're probably one of those couples who has been in a relationship for years. I've never had that experience. I mean, I got together with my second husband in March. 2004 when I was still married to my first husband got the divorce shortly thereafter and I married my second husband April 22nd 2005 I've never had a long engagement the first husband we met online in 2000 I was in Texas he was in New York um, after talking a lot online and sending snail mail on the whole nine yards he flew me into New York that August after a week together. He proposed marriage. We got married on a mountain. They call it a mountain. Mount Bunnell in Austin. It's not really a mountain. It's a hill. December 29th, 2000. So I don't understand that, but everyone's different. Everyone's on their own path. I'm seeing if you're engaged, a long, drawn-out engagement that's... You've been engaged or you've been in a relationship for years, okay? Because... I don't see the honeymoon phase. I don't see two people who are just crazy in love and you're just consumed with each other and you're just consumed with this relationship. You both have your lives. You have very busy careers and it's just kind of a matter of course. You're you're going to get married to each other eventually. Uh, there's no big ass rush. And for a lot of you, I would say this is probably, it's its not a first marriage. It's probably a second, maybe third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. I don't know. My dad's on his fifth and final marriage, I guess. My mom's on her third and final marriage. If I ever get married again, it'll be my third and final marriage. But people go crazy with it. I don't know why. Getting married numerous times. After two times, after two unsuccessful marriages, you would think, well, you might want to just hang up the spurs, but... 
I'm idiotic. I am eternally optimistic and romantic. I like the idea of getting it right in my late middle age, maybe, with some man. I don't know. So it looks like you're in a relationship, but it's it's gone on for years, and there's no end in sight. Uh, it could be a long-distance relationship. Um, it doesn't really look romantic. It just looks matter-of-fact. I call out Astro Combo sometimes for fun. Your person could have Sun and Cancer, Sagittarius Rising, Moon and Libra. That's one possibility of many. Three more cards for Libra. Their person's current feelings. Three cards. That's sexy, that's hot. Pour some sugar on me comes to mind. Or photograph, Def Leopard. That's really sexy. Um, extraterrestrial contact, astrology, tarot, Norse mythology. Um, I just made this new design at Redbubble. I have over 2,100 designs. I've loaded a Redbubble. And it says, all you need to know is in the description box below. All you need to know about extra basic tarot is in the description box below. I love when YouTubers do that. It just looks so ridiculous. Like, where is below? Is that below? Is that? No, that's below. Description box below, in case there's any confusion. Um, art. Okay, the couple that I'm seeing is Lee Krasner and Jackson Pollock. I named my son after Jackson Pollock, not because I was a huge Jackson Pollock fan, but I loved Ed Harris's portrayal of Jackson Pollock and Pollock. Jackson Pollock was an Aquarian and Lee Krasner Scorpio, and they kind of had that dynamic, at least the way it was portrayed in the movie, you know. It was very matter-of-fact, well, we're going to do this, we're going to get married. They didn't have this wildly glamorous, exciting um, relationship. They were just a meeting of the minds. And again, that's just the movie. I'm sure it was different um, in real life. But it didn't come across that sexy in the movie. Just kind of like, you know, we're together, this is a thing, we're like-minded, we're both artists, and this is our vision, this is our dream, we're going to live on a, is it Long Island? Get out of the city, get out of New York, and have this little farmhouse, and uh, that's where Jackson Pollock became Jackson Pollock. I mean, everything was a preliminary up to that. They got the, the land or the house, they got out of the city, and that's when he started doing the splatter paint. I just fucking love that movie. For some reason, the biopics tend to be my favorite, especially when it's an artist, like uh, Pollock and Frida, the Frida Kahlo movie. Those are two of my favorites. In Purple Rain, although it's not a biopic, it's loosely based, I guess, on Prince's life. But, um, yeah. So, I see a relationship It's probably already a marriage or you're engaged or moving toward marriage. You're both busy, you're both intelligent, you're both cerebral, you're both very ambitious and goal-oriented. You're not just, you're not uh, two kids with stars in your eyes traipsing around Candyland. That is what I see for Libra. I hope that helps, entertains, elucidates, educates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. My nose is really itching. It's very uncomfortable. K plus O Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Your person's current feelings. First, a water break. It's funny, it's only been an hour. There are some readers who will do uh, like three hour live streams or they'll go really in depth in just one reading like a, 
a reading for one sign, like a, a Scorpio reading, and it's over an hour, I've noticed, and I can't wrap my brain around that, but we're all different. This is not a paid sponsorship, but I was thinking while I was putting the makeup on, I'm going to put this bottle of water in the video and do something cute with it. Okay. So this is the water that I drink. Fiji. And I like the coffee. I missed my calling as an actress. The soft taste of solid rock. As much as I <laughs> look ridiculous. The soft taste of solid rock. The distinctive taste of Fiji water is years in the making. That's how long it takes tropical rainfall to filter through ancient volcanic rock and naturally acquire the silica that gives Fiji a signature soft, smooth taste. Sourced from a sustainable underground aquifer, it's untouched by man until you unscrew the cap. I love that scene in Lost in Translation when Bill Murray is in Japan and he's doing that uh, whiskey commercial. <laughs> that's, that's the best. I love that movie. I love that scene. That's probably the best scene. My favorite scene in the movie is when he's doing the whiskey commercial in Tokyo. You can tell the difference, you know? If you were to blindfold me and give me this, and God forbid, Aquafina and Evion, I can totally tell the difference. Scorpio is a water sign, synchronicity. Six cards for Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Current fillings. Not their past fillings. Not their future fillings. That's a damn decent start. This keeps showing up. Nine of Cups, Lady of the Copas. Fiji's magical. The Chariot of Garo. For a while, I was thinking that I wanted to move to Fiji be an expat. I mean, I've bought all kinds of books on moving to Fiji, moving to Costa Rica, moving to Mexico. Um, but when I read about this couple that moved from D.C. to Fiji, I thought, okay, that's it for me because there was a med slide and there were millipedes in their house. I said, I, I can't dance to that. Okay. Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas, Death, there you are, Marete, Scorpio. Justice, La Justicia. I do have a Scorpio bias. My two favorite energies, not sun signs necessarily, my two favorite energies in the zodiac are Scorpio and Capricorn. My sun is double Scorpio, sun and moon, 17 degrees Scorpio. Um, but even before I gave birth to my son, and I really wanted him to be born on Halloween. I went to the hospital in Albuquerque um, dressed as not to offend anyone or no oh hell. Trailer trash. So my hair was in pink sponge rollers and I had on all this garish makeup, kind of like now, but the blue eyeshadow and I had this little ridiculous monkey camisole that showed my ridiculous huge belly. I was popping out in these pajama pants and these big fluffy pink house slippers. I went to the hospital on Halloween with my ex, my husband at the time, my second husband. I don't think he was dressed up as anything. He might have been dressed up as a clown, I don't know, but I really wanted my son to be born on Halloween, but he took his time and he didn't come out until um, November 9th, 2007. Even before I gave birth to my son, for some reason, well I know why now, I didn't when I was younger, but I was always drawn to 
specifically Scorpios and Cancers, and then Capricorns for love and sex. King of Swords rated as spot is. It's because although um, my chart is Earth and Air dominant, I have Mercury and Pisces, I have a Scorpio, I see Cancer, South Node, that's it. I don't get into the past life stuff too much. I have no memory of my past lives, but I probably had a lot of water in my previous incarnation because Scorpio, I see, and Cancer, South Node, but... My first house, Virgo Moon, makes a fuck ton of aspects. It's right on my Ascendant, my Virgo Ascendant. And I've got a mutable Grand Cross involving my Moon, Neptune, which is in the fourth house, Mercury in Pisces, and Saturn in Gemini. Anyway, I would say this person's currently in love with you, and it's deep, it's profound. Um, if you're not married, you're headed in that direction. I've been seeing something similar for a lot of these signs. The usual caveat applies. And we have two signifiers in the last row, not a sword, or a king of swords. You know, it's not a personal reading. I'm reading for a, a global audience. The numbers are uh, mediocre for this channel. And I want to change that. I have a little over 21,000 subscribers at Siren Tarot, and I work, and I work, and I work. Um, I would like to have a thousand subscribers here before New Year's Eve, ideally, but I love the idea of having two monetized tarot channels, and I love the idea of this channel going beyond Siren Tarot. Because as much as I enjoy the picket cards, my heart is in the zodiac, the astrology. Um, I've been saying for a while now, I would like to just stop the client readings, <clears throat> not do any more client readings in 2023 going forward, uh, except for clients that I have established rapport with. You know, clients I've been reading for for years, I'll always read for them, but just putting the brakes on new clients and putting more focus, more energy, more time, more effort into the tarot channels and Patreon. So it's, it's pretty matter of fact. I see two people who are in constant communication. You know where you stand with this person. So... Maybe you're watching out of curiosity, boredom, you're just wanting confirmation, but I see this person being crazy in love with you, and I see the two of you getting married, and um, could be getting married in the summer, the summer of 2023, cancer season, maybe 2023, but I have to say it, I, I say it sometimes, just as a reminder. If you're triggered by tarot, if you're emotionally upset, I would just say don't watch. You have to take any tarot reading with a grain of salt. Heavy, heavy emphasis here and at Siren Tarot on entertainment purposes. Okay. Three more cards for Scorpio, Trace Moss, or Favor. I've lived in numerous trailers. Uh, when I was a kid, I lived in a trailer on Cuba Road in Bridgeport, Texas with my mom and two younger siblings. I lived in a travel trailer in Balcony Heights. It's a section of San Antonio on and off with um, the Capricorn X. And when I was in seventh grade, my parents were custom building this house in Midland, Texas, and we lived in a travel trailer in a KOA park for about two months while we were waiting for this house to be built. If I weighed every word and agonized over every word, I wouldn't be here. I, I wouldn't have a tarot channel. I, I can't. I can't dance to the social media noise. I do YouTube and that's it. Okay. So, sorry to destroy your illusions. Yeah, it's, it's a collage, you know. I make these collages at Canva.
taste, taste, and feel the difference. It's like I was saying, this came out in the latest Pick a Card at Siren Taro. If you're a child of the 70s, as I am, I was born in 73, you'll recognize this. You know, that club where you could get something insane like 12 8 tracks. I never got 8 tracks, I got cassettes. 12 8 tracks or cassettes for a penny. You just join this little, I guess it was Columbia, Columbia Record Club. Jackson, are you okay? You're building a whole life together. You're collecting records or eight tracks, cassettes, CDs, VHS tapes. You're collecting things together. Maybe teacups. I'm starting a teacup collection. My Bone China teacup and saucer from the UK came in the post today from uh, eBay. It's gorgeous. It's glorious. I featured it in my latest pick a card reading. I'm damn proud of it. And the ex was saying, oh, you could drink um, da, 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 some kind of tea, clover tea. I said, no. I said, you don't drink out of teacups like that. Or I don't. I wouldn't. I'm going to have this, this china hutch, this china cabinet. It's going to be filled with teacups. My mom was saying that I should find that pattern and, and collect it. But I don't want it to match. I want all eclectic and eclectic teacup collection. That's the dream. That's what I see for Scorpio. I hope that helps, elucidates, educates, entertains. Thanks for watching. Peace out. K Paso, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Their current feelings. Hey, hey, Paula, I want to marry you. Hey, hey, Paula, no one else would ever do. <laughs> the hanged man. Oh, God, oh. Waited so long for school to be through. Paula, I can't wait no more for you, my love. Hey, hey, Paul, I want to marry you too. Knight of Cups, Caballo de Copas. Hey, Paula, it's a great song. The Tower, La Torre. Seven of Coins, Fifty of Copas. Seven of Coins, Siete de Oros. I want to move to Mexico. People were in a rush to get out of Mexico, but I want to move there. There's a certain undisclosed location. I've mentioned it in numerous videos. Six of Cups, Ace of Copas. Total Santos, Baja. Um, and I'll have to just really brush up on the Spanish. I got a D in Spanish too at UTSA. Okay, so this person is sounds worse than it is. My son really gets into the gameplay. Um, I would say this person's currently in love with you, but there's some damn rock in the road. There's some damn complication, obstacle. Welcome to life on planet Earth. Things get really complicated and tedious down here. Is it third party? Is it multiple party? I'll clarify each row. I call out astral combo sometimes for fun. This person could have sun and Taurus, Cancer rising. 
moon in Pisces. And they have something, probably an asteroid, in Aries. I don't get hung up. I don't trip on the asteroids. I feel like that's dumb to get hung up on asteroids. Whatever, one's different. Okay. Please clarify. God, I got fucking mouth. Please clarify the Hierophant over the Tower one card. I had this really vivid erotic dream about Tommy Lee this afternoon. I was just thinking of that when I said, get out of my mouth. <laughs> the High Priestess, La Sacerdotisa. Oh, the High Priestess clarifying the Hierophant. Are you from different religions? Is one of you a Christian, one of you is Jewish or Islam, I don't know, Muslim. I'm seeing organized religion for obvious reasons. That could be a pain in the ass problem. Um, just keeping it real. All the advances we've made, 21st century. I don't get why organized religion is still even a thing, why people are still hung up on organized religion, but different paths, different timelines, etc., etc. Please clarify the hanged man over seven of coins, one card. I was brought up Southern Baptist in Texas. I was dunked in water in different churches in Louisiana and Texas. I had to memorize Bible verses. I had to give my heart to Jesus. I didn't want to go to hell when I died. Two of staffs, two of wands, those kibastos. All I can say is thank God for Naya's corner of the universe and thank God for Dolores Cannon because I don't have fear about death. I'm not scared of death anymore. I had all these nightmares as a kid because I had to hear about hell and the rapture and tribulation, the end times, every fucking Sunday. Please clarify Knight of Cups over Six of Cups, one card. Two of Coins, those the Oros. Okay, they care about you because these clarifiers, that's all cancer. The high priestess is cancer, two is cancer. So that's all cancer. They care about you. And I would say they are in love, but there are problems. There are wrinkles to iron out. Three more cards for Sagittarius. Trace Moss, four, five, four. They may feel like they have to drag you to church or vice versa. Oh, there's the cigarette again and the vodka gimlet. I'm sure it's supposed to be lemonade, but I look at it, I see a vodka gimlet. Actually, no, because a vodka gimlet has lime and that's a lemon. It's as satisfying as watching a marbled coating on a cake. Well, to some people that is satisfying, watching marbled coating reason. Yeah. You know, it's that energy that I think a lot of us have been in lately, these past couple of years, maybe. Um, you're thinking, you know what? The world is in chaos. Everything's just gone to shit. Everything is crazy town. I might as well just snort another line of cocaine or eat another box of Twinkies. Uh, I might as well just max out the Discover card. Might as well sell the house, buy an RV, and just drive around America interviewing people on what really matters. That was, that was a dream that I had for years. I wanted to get a motor home or a travel trailer in a truck and just go around America and interview people. What really matters and make a documentary? What matters the most? <laughs> so. Oh, 
I uploaded a design to Redbubble a few hours ago. God is, I think I said, God is munching popcorn watching the show. And in the description, I said, your only job is to entertain God or something to that effect. Existentialism. It's all absurdity. Nothing to get hung about. John Lennon, The Beatles, Strawberry Fields, Forever. No one, I think, is in my tree. I mean, it must be higher one. That's what I see for Sagittarius. I hope that helps, entertains, elucidates, educates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Well, hello there, Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I was going to say, here is your weekly word. This is your person. Their current feelings for you. Entertainment purposes. Oh my my. Oh hell yes. Got to put on that party dress. Buy me a drink. Sing me a song. Take me as I come because I can't stay long. I don't know why. I just felt like I needed to sing that. Uh, Last Dance with Mary Jane, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Not a huge fan of Tom Petty, but I do like that song, Refugee. That's a really well-written song. Temperance, La Templanza. Tom Petty was a Libra. Ace of Staffs, Ace of Wands. I also think Boss those. Seven of Swords, they could be Espadas. The Empress. The Devil, there you are, El Diablo. I always think of my Capricorn ex when I see that because he is, um, I was going to say he's a devout Catholic, but we only went to church together once. We went to San Fernando Cathedral downtown Christmas for Christmas Mass, but uh, he was brought up Catholic in San Antonio, and he had strong beliefs. My son was visiting once, and he had a, a devil mask and a pitchfork, and the Capricorn made him take the costume out to my car. He was not allowed to wear the devil mask and have the pitchfork in his home, and so I just imagine him being really offended by this. The devil represents Capricorn. People trip on that card and they freak out over it. I think that's stupid, but I mean, I get it. I was brought up Southern Baptist in Texas. At its highest vibration, the devil, the way I read it, is empowerment through knowledge. You know yourself. You know your shadow, you know your flaws, shortcomings, whatever. Knowledge is power. What we don't know, the subconscious, the unconscious, lack of consciousness, that's what enslaves us and ties us to the train tracks of the matrix. The moon, la luna. Okay, what are their current feelings? Um, that's a fuck ton of major arcana for a six card spread. Four out of six major arcana. If this was a private reading, I would tell the client that they don't really know you. They're not emotionally invested. There's too much abstraction. There's too much obstruction. So what are you doing? Are you playing bingo? Candy Crush, Words with Friends, I don't know. Um, Instagram Boogie. Is this just two people who are sliding into the DMs and Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? This looks so minimal. Um, it could be sexual. There's, there could be some sexting. There could be some covert communication. Maybe they're married to someone else or you're married to someone else. So you have sneaky communication. 
the emphasis here is on sexual attraction. Okay, there could be some fantasy, projection, um, they could be dreaming of you. I would not say this person's currently in love with you. Just going by these cards, entertainment purposes, reading for a global audience, some personal reading. Possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Sagittarius, Taurus rising, Moon and Gemini. That's one possibility of many. Please provide an energetic summation for Capricorn through the two cards. Three of coins, trace to Oros. The Emperor. Two of Swords. I'm not seeing consistent communication. I'm not seeing in-depth communication. I'm not seeing someone who's necessarily interested in getting to know you in your totality, in a real way, where you're exchanging ideas and you're showing up for each other. And I don't see this person trying to impress you or trying to really connect with you in a real way beyond sex. Three more cards for... Capricorn, Trace Moss, Four Five Four. Hmm. They like the way you look. There's no doubt about that. They love your social media presence. You have a lot of charisma. You have a lot of sex appeal. Sex. Maybe you have an OnlyFans. Um, maybe there are a lot of pictures of you on Instagram. You're in a very sultry pose in a bikini on a beach. You know, you're, you're crawling across the sand or something. I don't know. You just ooze sexual charisma. Taste and feel the difference in Mexico, Texas. There's definitely a difference between, a lot of differences between New Mexico and Texas. I was born in Texas, spent most of my life here. Moved to Albuquerque with the first husband in 2002, and he was saying how the food there was amazing. He was from New York, but he had taken vacations there. And I said, you're trying to tell me, someone who grew up in Texas eating Tex-Mex, that New Mexican food is superior? It is. It absolutely is. There's no contest. So... <clears throat> That's the hill I'll die on. New Mexican food is superior to Tex-Mex. That's what I see for Capricorn. Uh, they're really into you sexually. I hope that helps, entertains, elucidates, educates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. K plus so Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I keep wanting to say, here's your weekly word. But this is not your weekly word. This is your person, your person of interest, their current feeling. Six cards. No, I didn't have a glow up recently. I just put on a fuck ton of makeup and went to Party City. A few weeks ago, and I bought myself this Party City wig. The Fool, there you are. El Loco. I have Sun and Venus in Aquarius, and they both try in Uranus and Libra. Six of Staffs, Six of Wands, Seis de Bastos. Page of coins, so that they oros. Six of cups, six to copas. King of coins, right of oros. Ooh, big king daddy. Spank it, slap it, and make it sting. The emperor. <laughs> I get too excited when I see the emperor. It's it's been a long time. It's been five years for me. But um, I keep Love Shack Boutique in business. Uh, 
I'm not going to rant. Just a little side note. I've noticed in my experience, I'm in the chrome phase of my life. You know, I see little hairs that I have to shave off and everything's sagging and this is the heaviest I've ever been. It's liberating. As a woman, you get to a certain age and you just don't give a fuck. I mean, I give a fuck, but I'm not this neurotic, self-conscious mess I was when I was 20 and I was damn near perfect. Um, a lot of times these guys, these men who try to come across like the emperor, like they're these big BDSM doms, in person it's it's not like that. They don't slap it until it stings. That's just been my experience. It's been my experience. I'm almost out of this. What is it? What is this? Let's see. Mega last liquid cat set. Cat suit. Oh, that's a stupid name. Mega last liquid cat suit. What? Satin sheets. That's a song from my childhood. Satin sheets to lie on. Satin pillow to cry on. <laughs> okay. Um. This person is full of themselves, and I can just, I'm always thinking on different levels as I'm making these. I'm thinking, someone out there is thinking, bitch, get over yourself, because I have this surplus of personality. I'm not just reading the cards. This person is your soulmate. They're really dazzled by you in the 5D, although they have you blocked at Instagram on the 5D. They're all about it. I have a surplus of personality and that comes across in a kind of way that some people get turned off. I, I can't think about that. There's that Martha Graham quote, you know, what someone else thinks of you is not your business. You can't do YouTube for any length of time and be concerned with some random person's perception of you. I mean, God, I'd be sunk if I... If I was bothered by all the comments, all the hate that I get, you have to have some chutzpah. You have to just keep going, you know? Um, you have to be that bitch that keeps rolling or else you're not going to have anything on YouTube. So what are their current feelings for you? Enough about me. What are their current feelings for Aquarius? Um, this is so ego-driven. I would say... They have romantic feelings for you, but they're not in love, and there is a difference. When you're as old as I am, you've had as much life experience as I've had, you're very uh, adept at noticing the nuances, the subtleties, okay? They're not currently in love with you, but there are romantic feelings. They are attracted to you. Uh, they like the idea of being in a relationship with you. Maybe you're in some kind of relationship, but it's not as active and energetic as it could be. Uh, this person is full of themselves. They are very arrogant, very complacent. They like their life the way it is. They're not going to jump through hoops of fire for you. They're not going to move heaven and earth to be your man or be your woman, whatever. Uh, they're not trying to marry you tomorrow. Uh, they're not blowing up your phone. They're not being the best version of themselves for you. Okay? It's take it or leave it, but you better believe it. You know, they're just being kind of kind of an asshole. Um, so the fire does dominate three out of the six. Well, no, this, these illustrations are throwing me off. I see that staff, and I think it's a staff, but that's the fool, that's Aquarius. So scratch that. Uh, the fire does not dominate, but we have the emperor, we have Mars, Aries, and we have the six of staffs, the six of wands. 
There's a strong sexual attraction. There's no doubt about that. But I see them possibly breadcrumbing you. I don't see them prioritizing this connection. Um, two things. I usually just spit out one story, one narrative, and, and that's it. it. resonates or not. But two different things. Either this person is married. If they're married, they're in no hurry to get a divorce. Or if they're single, they're in no hurry to get married. Bottom line, I don't see them prioritizing this connection at this time. Call out astral combos for fun. A possible astral combo for this person is Sun and Taurus, Aries, Rising, Moon and Cancer. They have this lazy energy of when um, they're not working their home. They're playing video games or they're just binge watching Game of Thrones or The Walking Dead. They're throwing back, they're drinking Bush or Coors, Budweiser, whatever. And they're not in that aggro, urgent energy of just blowing up your phone and, and um, rearranging their world to accommodate you. Three more cards for Aquarius. Trace Moss for a couple. Cheese at snack mix. I was not too happy when I went to get my groceries at Amazon Fresh last night and they were out of the cheese at snack mix. Extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial. It's too many syllables, too many R's. Extraterrestrial, that's way too many R's. Extraterrestrial contact, astrology. Um, Norse mythology. That's just, that's a lot. That's a lot of information there. Think hard. You're probably too intelligent for this person. There's probably a pretty pronounced disconnect. This is your IQ and this is their IQ. 20 points or more. Um, you could be an INTJ, INTP. This person could be an ESTJ. Not saying that ESTJs are not as intelligent or whatever. This person does not read books. They're not intellectually curious. They like to work on cars. No shame in that. But I don't see two people who are on the same wavelength, the same path. I don't see two people who are compatible. I'm seeing compatibility issues here. But strong sexual attraction. That's what I have for Aquarius. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. K plus O, Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Their current feelings. Heavy emphasis at this channel and at Siren Taro on entertainment purposes. I'm here to entertain, educate, elucidate. I just uploaded this design to Redbubble a few hours ago. Something along the lines of uh, God is munching popcorn enjoying the show. Or God is munching popcorn watching the show. Good old-fashioned existentialism. It's all absurd. It's all nonsense. Let's participate. Let's create. Let's show up. Let's connect with our fellow human beings, star seeds, and indigo children, whatever. Uh, let's just connect and let's enjoy our time on this blue and green orb. This swiftly tilting planet. Um... Strawberry fields comes to mind. Nothing to get hung about. Strawberry fields forever. No one I think is in my tree. I mean, it must be high or low. Um, 
Ace of Staffs, Ace of Wands, Ace of Bastos. Ouch. Three of Swords, Three of Espados. Knight of Swords, Caballo, De Espados. The Emperor. Knight of Cups, Caballo de Copas. Ten of Staffs, Ten of Wands, De Espados. It seems like the last few readings for Pisces at this channel. Uh, the monthly, maybe, and the weekly, I don't know, but it, it feels like there's been a lot of viscera, a lot of pain, a lot of agony. What I see in these cards is someone who is, I'm choosing my words. I say this all the time. I feel like the word narcissist is overused in today's culture, today's climate, uh, people fancy themselves psychologists, people who don't have their psych degrees, they think, oh, that person is a narcissist. This person may or may not be a narcissist, but they're definitely an asshole. They're emotionally unavailable, they're dismissive, they're not factoring in your feelings, your satisfaction, it's all about them. If you were to have sex with this person, uh, if you're a woman and this is a man, they wouldn't be concerned with your orgasm or orgasms. It's all about their pleasure, their instant gratification. You get to a certain age and you don't have any tolerance for that kind of bullshit. I'm in my chrome phase. I'm 49. I'm staring 50 in the face. Um, I can't dance to this. So... You know, when I was 20, I had an almost perfect body, you know. Looks are subjective, but I was looking pretty good when I was 20. But I had no confidence. I had no common sense. I was just la 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 la. Oh, this guy's deciding on me because we had phone sex for two hours. This was in the dinosaur ages of the 90s, before the internet, before social media, before Google. Before YouTube, imagine the dark ages of 1992. So we would have phone sex for a couple of hours, and he would say, I love you at the end, and I thought that really meant something. It didn't mean anything. He had a girlfriend. I wasn't a priority. Um, he was my first sexual experience when I was 17. He was 17, our senior year of high school. But... Um, we didn't actually have full-on sex until August 1999. I spent the night at his place, and it was very mediocre. Um, and I thought, this man is who I had on a pedestal for the better part of a decade, the 90s. If you have this person on a pedestal, knock them off. If you're prioritizing this person, don't do that. Uh, you're sincere. You're emotionally invested. And this person is just... Well, the words that came to mind were they're just, they're laughing at you. They're entertained by this, but they're not involved. I would say this person, they could be a sociopath. I see them being cruel. I see them being cold. I see them being dismissive. Three of Swords is not always third party. It can be. It can be someone who's just being an asshole, a sociopath, and they're not really they're not really investing in you. They're not prioritizing. They're just playing with your feelings. Fuck that. Um Possible. We have two knights. We have the Knight of Cups and Knight of Swords. So there's exchange. There's energy. But is it good? I would say no. There's definitely a sexual attraction. You could be sexting, but they're not. They're not showing up. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Aries, Gemini rising, Moon and Aries. But when it comes to astrology and sinistry. My very cynical take on this is that it doesn't matter 
if you have sun conjunct moon or moon conjunct moon, if the person's showing up like an asshole and they're not regarding your feelings and they're not showing you respect, doesn't matter how tight the orbs are. Three more cards for Pisces, Trace Moss, Poor Favor. There has to be this baseline, okay? There has to be mutual respect. It's like, you know, I'm telling clients all the time, whenever a client comes to me and they want a reading on um, who am I going to marry, I always say, and usually I say, I've been saying it lately, who are you going to marry? Because I'm not fatalistic or superstitious when it comes to tarot. I believe we create our lives. I manifested all of my exes. So you make a list and you check it twice. Be very concise, very specific, very deep with the details. You can say, these things are carved in stone. He has to respect me. No abuse whatsoever. He can't be in love with someone he broke up with in 1998 or whatever. He has to be emotionally available. Uh, he can't be a smoker. He can't be addicted to alcohol, drugs, porn, or video games, uh, or gambling. And there are some things, I mean, they don't, some things don't mean that much to you. You don't carve them in stone or whatever. I would prefer that he doesn't have any pets. I'm very funny about odors and germs and allergies. Virgo rising, Virgo moon, sun and Venus and Aquarius in the house of Virgo, sixth house. Uh, I would prefer he's not the kind of man who just leaves dishes in the sink. I would prefer, well, no, you can carve this in stone. He has to wash that ass. He has to be a stickler for hygiene, at least physical. Uh, ideally, he's good with the spiritual hygiene as well. He breathes in, he breathes out. He doesn't live and die for social media. He's not always on Instagram. But you can say these things are non-negotiable, these things are carved in stone, these things I'll waver on, these things I will allow. It doesn't matter if his eyes are hazel or blue or cerulean or turquoise or green or uh, brown. It doesn't matter what his ethnicity is. Uh, it doesn't matter if he speaks fluent Spanish or it doesn't matter if he's into books. It doesn't matter if he's creative, but there are some things you want to carve in stone. Uh, we decide our value and our worth. It starts internally. My latest thing that I'm passionate about is making subliminals. I'm using this app on my phone and I'm going to Canva and I'm going to figure out how to make subliminals on the iPhone using iMovie. I believe in it. I'm intense about it. Self-care, it's everything. Being very conscious of what we allow in, what we put out. So yeah, I can see that thing and, and you think it means something. I get it. I've been there. When someone sends you a video, a song, a playlist, this song or these songs remind me of you. Okay. Um... That's the room for travel. I look at it and I think that has to be the room for communication. I look at it and I think radio, it's, it's Rido, but it's according to my ex, he's the expert on the rooms. It's, uh, it's travel, could be long distance. So if this is long distance, And it's fun, it's exciting, there's occasional communication whenever this person sends you a message. You get the flutters, you get the butterflies, you blow up balloons, it's a party. Just going beyond the obvious and what the cards are showing, just my intuition is telling me that if you and this person were together in a real relationship, you were sharing a home, you were together all the time, things that are exciting now would soon become tedious and boring, you know. Um, and if it is on again, off again, a roller coaster, if they're not showing you respect, a little bit of that goes a long way. You don't want to be in something like this long term. 
where you never know where you stand with this person and they're playing the mind games. We allow what we allow. You get to a point where you say, I'm worth more than this. So I see that's what I have. That concludes this All Signs reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Peace out.